Hi everybody, this is Sam the Old Man playing games and today I'm playing Shadowgun Legend. Let's claim my reward there. There we go. Uh, I've been playing this a little bit so this isn't quite a first impressions but have a look at this. This is a first person shooter game that I'm super impressed with the graphics, the gameplay, the feel of it. Maybe it's because my phone's awesome. The, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Uh, but okay, so you go to these people and they give you missions. So I'm going to go talk to him. This is Pedro. And we can trade stuff with him, but right now I'll get a mission. I've already got one mission from him that I'm in the middle of doing. Now I can get another one. So let's just throw that in there. Alright, so let's go back. And there's another mission I can get up here from this dude. So let's go get some missions from him. Have a chat with him, get some missions. Oh, no, we're claiming a reward for a mission that we did. So that's good. We've got uh, a thing there. And then he's going to give me... Oh, there's a whole bunch of new missions. We're going to do the side mission. We're going to get the side mission there. Oh, and also to get to rank 10, we want to do that. I'm pretty sure you can just accept them all. I'll do the campaign later. I'm still in the middle of side missions. Uh, but anyway, my game name in this game, Shadow Gun Legends, is Sam the Old Man. There it is up the top. Uh, I think you can see up the top there. It should say my name and all the stats in the game. Sam the Old Man. So if you want to add me as a friend in this game, just go ahead and do it. But let's get to the gameplay. So on the top right hand side, there's a two and a one. That's the missions that I've got. Click on that and it takes you to the missions. I'm, I've played it a little bit, but not a lot. I'm still very much on the first island and just the beginner here. So let's uh, click through here. Let's see which one do I want to do. Let's do this one here for Pedro's mission, because his missions were adding up there. Word on the street says to catch potatoes back home are loving the action, man. Get back out there quick and keep them juiced up, you know. So I think basically the premise of this is it's in the future, we're in some galaxy somewhere in the world, well, somewhere in the galaxy, not the world, uh, and aliens have invaded um, on the planet. We're in a safe haven city where they, I guess we've managed to hold it off, and they send us out to do these missions. Right, so I have roll. to eliminate the enemy forces. So let's walk around a little bit. Normally it tells us where we have to go. Uh, there we go, there's an alien. Boom, I've got shotgun on, which is more effective at close range. Boom, boom, and reload, don't get hit. Boom, boom, <laughs> nice, that was a big one. Whoa, look at all these dudes. Move side to side, turn the corner, make them come to me. Are they gonna do it? Yes, whoa, that was close. There we go, nice shots there. Oh yeah, I got hit a little bit. Down to 67 health. As I've been progressing, uh, the health reloads when you, it's kind of like a shield. But as I have been progressing, let's pick up these ammo as we go along. Fortunately, the aliens use human ammo and they drop it, so that's convenient. Um, as well, <laughs> okay, that blows up. Uh, basically, the game, like once you're pointed close to an enemy, it auto fires. Or at least that's the settings that I've got on. Which I think is really helpful for in terms of controls for a mobile game. Here's an item they've dropped. I think that's really good. Green uh, is like here? rare. So you got like common and then you got green and, and then you got blue. Open and then I'm not sure what colors after blue because uh, I haven't progressed past that. Oh, I blew something up. That was good. There we go. Hit that dude in the head. And... There we go, the shotgun blast, reload, boom, in the chest. Alright, they're going to come out. So, plenty of them around. Where are they going to come from? Well, oh, look at them, I blew up something. There was no one there, so that was a bit of a waste. Uh, Alright, I'm going to place this, this here. There we go, that gun is going to help destroy them and distract them so they don't fight me. So there's a bit too many of them. Are they done? There's more. I'm going to take them out. I don't have a whole lot of cover here. I'm going to get some pretty big hits on if, um, if the gun doesn't take them out first. They're going to hit me big. 
gun's health is alive. Oh, blue, nice. There's a nice box for my inventory. Oh, let's blow them up good. There's a whole bunch here. I probably could have thrown the grenade. The grenade is actually brand new. Um, oh, I'm getting some hit pretty heavy. Again, brand new game, so let's blow, blow that up. <laughs> Boom. Okay, hold to end the mission. I think I finished the mission. Uh, I guess I finished it. All right, cool. Now I'm just looking for some any hidden stuff. But I think we're done. I think we cleared them out. Press that to hold to finish. Extraction Mission ended. Oh, I've got two extraction. grenades. Uh, I'll have to remember to throw a grenade in my next mission. There we go. So we get fame for progressing. Oh, 10,000 fame is my next uh, little thing. 91% accuracy is pretty good. Yeah, and it gives you a time there as well. Now we just have to load for a minute. But I just, it, the game just runs so smoothly. I'm really enjoying this one. Shadow Gun Legends, if you want to go get it. Uh, I think I gotta get to 10,000 fame uh, before I can join a guild. Uh, and I'm gonna join the first guild that someone puts in the comments and invites me to join. Uh, if that's yours or someone else's, let's just skip it and get much good stuff there. Claim that reward. Closing the mission and then, uh, here we go, there's the fame jumping up. Oh no, I can join a guild now. Perfect, it's PvP that I have to get the next one, 12,000. Right, let's go back, check out my inventory here, I've got stuff. So you don't have a huge inventory, but if you spend any money in the game, you unlock basically all these thousands of slots. So if I keep on playing, I would consider spending money. So the hologram, you have to decipher that with Pedro. So let's go to Pedro. I think we finished his mission anyway. So I think that was one of his, but let's see, okay. Talk to Pedro. Decode, let's see what we get from the decode. Decipher, 2% chance for something epic. And what do we pull? Here comes a surprise. Uh, I think blue is epic, nice. Okay, and then that there auto equips the best stuff, which I just, that's all I've been doing for now. Maybe later on once I get up into the higher ranks, I'll look at uh, not just auto equipping. But until then, auto equip it is. <laughs> Feel like raising and let's go get another mission here, the campaign mission. There we go, so we've got a side mission, a campaign mission. Let's go back. And because we don't have huge amounts of infantry, we have to keep coming over to Big Red to trade and sell all the spare stuff that I don't need. So the Osprey body armor, we're gonna sell that off. The gloves, the gloves. I'm sure if you had tons of space, you could look at collecting armor and guns, but for now, just whatever's the best I shall keep. You can also talk to other people in game here. You can set up groups. You can even have a voice chat between your group. I think you're allowed a group of four. Sell these guns. Sell, sell, guns, and sell. So it's actually very clever here. So, so these boxes have cool stuff in them. It shows you the percentage chance of what you can get um, in it the, by the color. And, uh, Oh, that was a great one. 7% chance of yellow. So I guess it's gray, green, blue, purple, yellow in terms of order of um, order of how rare it is. And that's the same order color as animation throwdown as well. Gray for common, green for rare, blue for epic, purple for legendary, and yellow for mythic. So that's cool. They've done the right color scheme. I like companies that and games that have that same color scheme okay so next some another little feature here in this game this is how you get your free your free in game currency with sponsor contracts and depending on how much of that fame you have depends which contract you can get and so I'm gonna sign a new contract yes and you get paid out a little bit how much time you spent on your old contract so I'll get 920 every eight hours. Uh, so basically I need to log in every eight hours to collect my pay. Okay, back out of that. You got some other features in here. You've got 
You can eat food, which for as far as I can tell doesn't do anything. You can go and have drinks. Again, doesn't really do anything, but a great social place to chill out. Casino, you can actually gamble your in-game currency, both the paid gold or your free in-game stuff. Um, you've got jewels for PvP and stuff, uh, but I, I haven't qualified for that. So let's get to another match. Go down to the planet. And we want to spin around and we want to do, I think we want to do this one here, the side mission. There's tons of side quests. Uh, I've only got one more campaign mission, but so many more side quests. Uh, so let's get going, see what this side quest is. Feel the energy. So there's one hidden treasure in this side quest. I'll show you what the hidden treasure looks like in case you don't know. So what are we going to do? Blow up the core so they can't use it. Tap to continue. Time to get my hands oh, to I've got... I don't know that I have the best guns for this. When you go auto, sometimes like it's just going to put the best guns on. I think I've got shotgun and sniper rifle, which doesn't leave me with a huge amount of ammo. Fortunately, I've got some grenades. See that little triangle there is telling me where I need to go. But just keep an eye out. Oh, we've got to jump down here. Oh, there's bad guys down there too. Uh, I could probably switch to my sniper rifle. Double tap and you zoom in and then headshot. Look at that. And then headshot. Nice. Only four bullets left for that though. Oh, oh there's another one. All right. Uh, switch back to it. Double tap and shoot. Nice. Got him get to the pistol, get to a shotgun. Alright, so let's just jump down now, see what's next. See what's down here. Hopefully they drop some ammo so I can... Uh, primary ammo is full. Whoops, what was that? Oh, the guy's behind me. Boom! Ah! Shoot him in the head. Nice. The shotgun is good for that. Whoop, and he's behind me too. Watch out, don't let them creep up behind you. Oh, there's more. Shotgun shells. Whoa, I can't believe that didn't work. Oh, there's guys from the top too. There's plenty of them coming. So I want to get close to sh get them with a shotgun, but not so close that they can hit me. This guy's got tons of armor. Oh, wow, he got a good hit on. Come on, in the face. I'm about to die. Let's hide behind here so that I can refresh. Whew, that was close. That's the closest I've ever come to dying. Okay, there we go. And I drew him out in the face. So that there is an item that's a grey one, so that's a common item. I'll pick it up. You can drop them later on if you find better stuff. Uh, but I always just pick it up just in case. So let's reload my ammo. Primary ammo is full. I need my secondary ammo. Alright, what's over here? Again, just on the lookout just in case we find our special items. Oh, we could walk all the way through there, okay. So basically there is nothing back there. We will continue on with the mission. At the moment with this mission, there's, as far as I can tell, there's no specific benefit in doing it in a specific time. There might be later on. Maybe there is an actual specific benefit. Well, look at all these guys coming. Okay, are they gonna come over and get me? No, they just ran by. All right. So where am I going? Fight my way to the generator? Okay, through to here, through this door, through this door. So it's done in sections, which is actually really good uh, in terms of making this mobile. And there they are, through the door immediately. I'm pretty sure we've got tons of them that are going to be coming through here. And I'm actually going to dodge while I reload, and boom. Uh, we're going to have more of them. I've got a feeling we're going to have a whole lot more. Boom, boom, boom. The shotgun's doing its job it's reasonably scratch. well. I just, oh, that dude with the sword. We cannot let him get close. So just back away. I'm about to hit the wall. And there we go. Shotgun in. Probably, I was tempted to throw a grenade. I just threw a, gro threw a grenade there. And how does that work? <laughs> boom. All right, so now we know how the grenade works. It's pretty good. Is that going to refresh? I don't know that it is get the shotgun again we're gonna get close I think we're gonna get not too close here this would be a good spot for that sniper rifle oh the shotguns working 
This is going to be a slog though, because that shield that he's got works well. But we can get some good hits on him while he's down, and then he's going to shoot off. Oh, got me a little bit, but uh, I know how his he works. He's nearly down. Boom. There we go, and he's down. Shut down the generator. So, did they drop some ammo? Yep, just get some ammo back up. There we go. I've never run out of the ammo, really, that I can recall. So, there's the generator. Shut that generator down. Come on, press the button. Press and hold it a bit. There we go. So, the grenade is refreshing, so it's done with time. Alright, there we go. The generators blew up. Look at that. Boom. So now nobody can use the generator. There we go. And find the backup generator. Whoa, of course. Oh, everyone has backup generators. So let's go through. Um, we're an enemy. Whoa, what's that? That is something cool that's on fire. Fire hurts you. Don't get too close to it. Oh. Um, explosive barrel. Blew that up. That opened the door so that we could get by. Give it a second for the fire to die down so we can get through safely. All right, where's these aliens? Well, there they are. How many are there? I'm gonna throw out my turret just because that guy with the sword will do massive damage to me. Boom, there we go. And now I can dodge those guys. There we go, I think that was a good move. Whoa, he was hiding, but the shotgun to the face did the job! Shotgun to the face is something that um, pretty much no one can uh, pass. Like, you just can't get around that. Alright, going through this door now. Whoa, someone hit me? Where's, where's, where am I being hit from? I don't understand. What happened? Oh, did I just blow up a container? Ah, uh, that's what happened. I just blew up a container by accident while I was standing right next to it. Don't do that. Okay, uh, what's next? So I'm gonna get through with, I don't have my trusty turret this time. So you get the turret and the grenades and you can level them up with levels. As you get enough XP and stuff, you do level up in this game. Well, they're, they're firing, I'm just hiding around the corner a little bit. I'm gonna throw a grenade now, there's the grenade. Um, and um, there's a whole bunch of them around here coming. There's one. There's one, they're running at me, so the grenade's not going to work. Shotgun's got a decent number of shots, and he had a little bit of a, a little bit of a chest flare there. Oh, one more guy coming. I do like how it tells you where they are. Oh, it's a shield guy. Oh, just hide behind the generator here, actually. Grenade. Oh, it bounced off the generator. Whoa, that was unfortunate for me. But I'll know that for the future. Oh, look, my other gun has tons of, oh, off the generator, boom, boom, and reload, boom, in the head, nice, so that's how that's done, zoom in nice and close, just more common um, weapons, which is unfortunate, shut down the backup generator, here we are, nice, generator's overheating, whoop, run away, so it doesn't blow up in my, ah, oh, it blew up in my face. At least didn't die. That was that was close. Okay, they're ready to rock. Core is a sitting duck now. Head to the core chamber and take it out. All right, without generators, to, I guess to run um, any shielding or whatnot, I can just get through to the core. Blow up the core. Whoa, there's a bunch of guys in here. Shoot the core to destroy it. Um, okay. But they're protecting the core, he's going down, those flying ones, they die pretty easy, whoop, take them out, whoop, they're blowing up in my face, shotgun to their face, does the trick pretty good, did he come back to life, or did I just not take him down enough, alright, there's a couple more guys out there, oh, there's a lot of them, I'm going to throw out my generator here, because this is pretty much the end of it, let's, uh, whoa, okay, Throw out the shotgun, and we're nearly there. Turret does the job, good. Okay, oh, there's more of them. There we go, the turret's working its job. I love this. Oh, and more of them, then you just throw a grenade at them. And, boom, 
nice timing grenade did its job. And we just gotta shoot at the generator. Whoa! Something shot me. Oh, okay. The, the turret explodes uh, once it's done. Uh, when it, it, I guess it overheats theoretically. There we go. I think I blew up the core. Boom! Rocking the station up. Okay, now we're to escape. Oh, uh, where am I going? Over here? Nope. Back where I came from. Okay, and we're on a time limit too. Got 65 seconds. Quick run, 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 run. Run. At least it tells me where I need to... Whoa! The they surprised me. Okay, so we're running. And we're shooting. Uh, as we go. Boom, shooting in the face. Okay, where to? Where to? I don't... Is that where I've got to go to? Did I get there? 48 seconds. Oh, there's the ship. Oh, I'm going to make it. We're going to be close. 38 seconds. And initiate takeoff. Okay, we're in the ship. We're in the drop ship. And we're away. Well, that was and fun. boom. See ya, aliens. Uh, we took down our own facility that you took from us. Five headshots there. 92% accuracy. you got to say, the shotgun is pretty accurate compared to some of the other ones. I didn't find the hidden treasure though. Oh, I was looking for it. I didn't find it, so I couldn't show you what it looked like. I guess it was pretty hid hidden. In some of the earlier missions that I played, they were, were not actually very hidden. But in the last mission, it was actually quite hidden, but I found it by accident. But I didn't find it. And the hidden stuff is normally the good stuff too. So anyway, we've got another shotgun. Claim that reward up. And we got some extra stuff. I can do team BDP now. I'm going for that silver key. Next, the silver key lets me open a silver box. Or like I think a blue box for a silver key. So that's pretty exciting. I'll go back. There we are. Got some more power. We equip some new stuff. Getting there. New contract is available. So I'm going to go switch contract. And then I'll go and change. Oh, hold on. Something is with an eye. Okay, I've got a new mission there. Uh, with uh, That's probably like the team PvP. Alright, let's change out my contract. Up to the higher one. I don't know if you could hear the train horn in the background. I do live near train tracks. Now it's not so much in the background. It's actually pretty noisy. Alright, yep, we're going to switch to that contract. Or leveling up. We're getting there. I mean, I'm you can see how far it goes in terms of, like, it, it just goes on and on. I'm right near the beginning. Alright, let's see what... I'm going to sell my stuff, make room, so let's sell some guns. Trade, sell. See what we got. Let's go ahead and sell that. Sell that. Sell that. So nice just sell it all. Oh, a common hand pistol. Nice. I'm going to sell that. Um, we want to keep the color. What's this over here? Osprey 2 Uncommon. I think... Uh, item... Oh, it's armor. That's why. Uh, so let's go back. Over to the armor. And then we can sell it. Definitely... Oh, definitely less uh, armor to trade. Or to find, or for me at least. There we go, sell that armor. Keep the colorful stuff. There's the larger inventory. So let me show you what those offers are. So you can spend as little as $7.50 to get access to the extra 130 inventory slots and four backpack slots. Or you can spend up to 144.99. Uh, which will give you 150% more value and some of those golden unlock ticket things which are uh, pretty hard to get for free actually so as they've done it pretty clever I'm, I'm assuming well I don't know I may hit a paywall I may not but at this point I haven't needed to spend any money yet I can do it all for free all right let's trade let's see what he can do uh, Pedro can't you have to buy stuff from him. Um, okay, so missions. Let's see what missions he's got. Claim that reward. We've got a free chest. 
So let's see if we can open that later. There we go. We've got a new mission as well. Cool. That's in progress. So let's go back. Let's go back into my inventory. So can we open these boxes? Open chest. Oh, apparently I can. Oh, all right, cool. Let's see what I got. Some forest green camo. So that you can apply to your gear. What about this one? That one needs a key. That one needs a golden key. Silver key, golden key. That one I can just open. Uh, it looks like it's just gonna be rare stuff inside. Yeah, green, and that one just got steel color. So let's go and apply some of this to my character. So a good one to apply uh, that to. What do we want to use? We've got lots of color options there. Steel. Uh, dirty blue is common, so I'm going to apply that. There we go. And apparently my armor turned a little bit dirty blue. And the boots. I'm going to... Uh, let's make the boots this uncommon color. Boots. Uh, purple, blue. Okay, did you see it change color? They're blue and then now it's gray on the knees, the knee pads on the boots. Uh, here's the camo color. Look at that, the camo color. Uh, oh, on the uh, chest plate, that actually looks kind of cool. But we're not, not going to use that for now. We're, that's that's for another day. I'm just saving them to see if we can use them all up later on. All right. So maybe I can sell them or something or trade them to people. Let's see what this guy's got. He appears to, to we can trade. So we can buy stuff. This is another game currency, the W, that I am not familiar with. I don't know how to get W currency. That might be from doing PvP. You might have to do PvP. See what his mission is. Have you seen battle games yet? Presenter calls himself TNT. The guy is so annoying, obviously trying way too hard. Absolutely no class whatsoever, okay? So what do I have to do? I don't know what I have to oh get four kills in war games without dying and compete in a one versus one duel. Step right up, step Tempted to give that a go. Right let's do that. I haven't done a duel before so let's see war games I guess. Yeah war games. Duel uh, one versus one. Like uh, join get and let's see what happens. Ready, I think connecting to the closest server hopefully it doesn't throw ads in. Um, and actually I think the shotgun could be good because if I get close the shotgun should be able to just take him down a shotgun to the face hard for someone to survive exactly that well if it, let's see what this does here if we're searching for more shadow guns if it doesn't connect me soon I may have to just drop out um, Okay, expanding matchmaking ranges is probably because I am an absolute beginner level and there's probably not a lot of beginners. In any case, I cancelled it. Let's go do another mission. This will be our final mission. Uh, we'll do a campaign mission. This is going to be the third one. And here he says, Hawksmoor's Awake. He was checking out the disappearance of Cetera rural federation battleships exactly and his sources led him to nc but it was a trap he stashed in the info and data drives step in right the tunnels so i've got to go right. get this info that was stashed while well, it loads up there's three hidden treasures in this one so i'll be on the lookout for that um and i can so the backpack that you take with you i'm pretty sure it can hold six things but if you do make that purchase, it expands so that you can hold 10 to have to continue. All right, let's go. Kick some space butts. Locate Hoxmoor's hidden data drive. So press the, the action button to kick the grate down. This tells us where we got to go, which is pretty useful. Watch out for baddies. Let's see if I can look around. Is that going to shoot me or what is that going to do? No, that's just nothing. It's just a... Just the thing. All right, we'll just walk through it. So I definitely know that I'm here now. Uh, but it matters because I like to shoot. Oh no, I don't think this is a 
shotgun anymore. I can't seem to walk through that. So how do we get through that? A little bit of a... Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. There's a little bit of a thing. That's what you're on the lookout. Stuff like that. You shoot it and it unlocks doors. So just again looking for those hidden... Potential hidden crates. And I don't see them. Walking through. There's where I've got to go. There's a big room. Again, looking for those hidden crates. Don't... Oh, there's our hidden crate. We found the first one. You saw it had a yellow thing on it. Oh, bad guys are coming. All right, in the meantime, let's open this hidden crate. And it's a green item. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not good. Whoa, he is tough. And they are, whoa. Oh, look at them all. I probably should have paid more attention and not stood hidden in the corner. That was close. 26 health left. Um, and it's joining, running back up now. They found, whoa, and then another guy. Oh, shotgun in the face. Shotgun in the face. That was lucky. I had nearly died there. I got a primary kills medal. Alright, so I guess they opened the door on me. Um, where am I going? Through here. Oh, there's a dude. And shotgun in the face. There we go. It helps. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sure where to go. Be on the lookout for those rare hidden items. Um, okay, more guys there. Stand off to the side a bit. Shoot them with the shotgun with a little bit of cover there. They're not the best shots, so we can normally hide like that and take them out. Great shooting. Uh oh, where are they coming from? Coming through that door any second now. Can I open it? Plant explosives. There we go. Take cover from the blast. Okay. There we go. I've taken cover. Boom! And now we're going to have some bad guys come through here. Search the lockers for the data drive. Okay. Here they are. Here they are. Here they come. Get the airplane down. The airplane will Call die quickly, death. but it can do some big damage. There we go. Take them out quickly. Get this item. I gotta sneeze, but I can't stop playing. There's no pause. Oh no, there is a pause actually. It's the little thing in the top left. But I don't want to pause. Um, what am I doing in here? Search the lockers. Okay, did I? I think I finished the search and there was nothing there. Recover data from the infiltrator. Okay. Or, yeah, infiltrator, yes. Okay, take out the guards. Oh, there's oh, lots of them. Tough one. So I'm going to plant a turret there to help me. And they're going to focus on the turret. Uh, I may have planted like it? it a little bit too far away. Okay, there's one dude. And there's another dude. Okay, I'm take him down. Oh, he's going up, which is good. Shotgun in the face. I'm not good at distance. He's out of range. Shotgun, shotgun, and... Oh, he jumped behind me. Ah, oh, cool, my turret. Got my back. There we go. Get them. Take you He's running, down. running to me. Oh, shotgunned him before he came and jumped up. Take out that dude. He's close. There's so many of them. So many of them. Cool. He's running up at me. And boom. And uh oh. He's not good. There we go. Threw a grenade at him. Oh, my turret disappeared. The grenade did its job. Good stuff. When you were there, is that all of them? That could be all of them. Oh, nope. I spoke too soon. There's another one. Take out the guards. Okay, I think the guards are taken out. Yes, yes, that's all of them now. Go to the infiltrator's last known position. All right, so we can't jump over that, but we can take this out. There we go. Turn off the energy by ripping it out so that it cannot be turned back on. We don't want to get trapped anywhere. We can run around. Go through there. Can go through. I'll bet there's a hidden thing somewhere in here, but I want to get some of this ammo. There we go, we've got some ammo. Where's some of those hidden items? Um, is it not through there? No, nope. that's just an alternative way around. Nothing hidden through there. Alright, no hidden items, unfortunately. Nope, not that I can see. So 
come up through here. Okay, there's a box, so you can get the box. This force field goes down. What's down there? Nothing in particular. Bad guys coming, or aliens. Bet they are. Alright, keep an eye out. I'm gonna just check. Again, check down here. There's no way to open that door. No hidden item. I feel like I'm missing some of those good stuff from those hidden items. Okay, eliminate all hostiles to proceed. This could be interesting. There we go. So I'm gonna drop the turret because I got a feeling this could be a lot of hostiles. There we go. And drop them. I'm gonna run forward a little bit. Boom, boom. Go move around, boom. Ah, uh, good, the turret got my back. Come on, turret, he's running into me and shot him in the face. Nice and close. Back away. And boom. And the turret doing its job in case he gets too close to me. Oh, nice, he drops that rare item. So, pick that up. And there's another rare item there. Nice, in the face. Uh oh. That dude is going to be causing trouble. He's got a big gun. But we ran up on him with the shotgun. There we go, we got the items, we got the people. There's another item. The backpack is full, but it's just a common item, so I'm pretty happy to leave that be. Just gonna check down here in case there's one of these hidden items. So I do want hidden ones. It doesn't appear to be hidden items in here. Nope, I cannot get through. Uh, so it does a pretty good job at, uh, again, it gives you a sense of freedom but ultimately you have to go where it wants you to go. No hidden items through here. Nope, I'm just in a dark room. So that's cool. All right, keep running along the pathway. Maybe you saw where the, the hidden items are. Um, and maybe I missed it. Or maybe this is a huge level. I just don't know. Go to the infiltrator's last known position. Okay, I feel like this is a trap. Boom! For a grenade. Oh, ouch! For another grenade. Boom! Oh wow. Okay. Uh, this could be a fun battle. I need some cover. Let's put the turret out. Boom! 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 Okay, I've got to kill him. He's going after the turret, which is as expected. Didn't go ahead and fight. He's running away. Oh. Okay. What do we do now? Oh. Now we've got his backup. Oh, this is this is a mega boss. This is the end of the campaign. So we're gonna take this stuff out. And maybe I use my turret too soon. Cause it's gonna have blown up any moment now and I'm gonna not have backup. I'm gonna be in trouble to come from everywhere. Boom, I need to get my back to the wall. Boom, boom, um, boom. Cool, take them out. And there's more coming around here, one on that side, and both on that side. Another airplane, I'm gonna take that out. Oh, shots, we're running out of ammo. We're gonna be in trouble if we run out of ammo. It's gonna be a lot of trouble, actually, if we run out of ammo. We're almost gonna get the turret back, so boom. Just like that. Whoa, we do not want to get by, hit by his gun. Uh, come back here and oh, oh, okay, okay, and we're gonna oh, terrible throw. Oh no, perfect throw. He walked into it, so that was cool. Shotgun to the head. We dodge his bullets. Keep shooting the head. Um, there we go and drop the turret. I probably shouldn't have dropped it, the bad guy, but at least. Oh, yes, I should have. We're taking him down big time now. While he's focusing on the turret, I can just stand here and shoot him in the head. And we're going to... Cool. Collect the data drive. Now, so that backpack is full. I assume I'm not getting hit by anything. So what I can do here... There's what's in my backpack. I'm going to drop the boots. There we go. And resume. I'm going to pick up this blue item. Oh, nice, a blue gun. That's my first blue gun that I've ever seen. I'm going to go and get some ammo. Oh, the turret exploded on me again. That's okay. Ammo, ammo. 
All right, collect the data drive. And again, we only got one hidden item. And I don't see another hidden item. Um, is that where I'm supposed to go? No, no, that's not where I'm supposed to go. I feel like I can run... Oh no, this is where I came from. Okay. So... No... Oh, there's a hidden item! We're cool, we found another one. So I'm just gonna go back to the backpack and drop that common item. Uh, did I drop it? I think so. Uh-oh! The game... Oh no, resume. <laughs> of course, you gotta resume. Alright. Here we go. I'm going to open it from this side so I don't accidentally pick up the common item again. Can I open it from that side? No, it doesn't well let me. There we go. I have to open it from this, this side. Kick it open and we've got a green ant. Alright, so i got two out of three of the hidden items. I don't know where I missed the other one. It would be crazy for them to put another item uh, in the same spot. So I'm just going to say I missed it. Or this mission is still going on and there's going to be more. So, pretty ruthless for a newbie. Finish off any stragglers and get to the surface. Okay, so this is the... Oh no, this is that's the end. Contact pilot for extraction. Alright, so I think we have to go back to where we came from. Maybe I just hit that button. Um, I think we just hit that button and that ends it. Oh, no. Okay, we called the pilot. Now what? Ah, yeah, it's all done all over well that was cool that was a fun mission i think we, that was a big boss first big boss of the game that i've seen uh 91 accuracy so pretty happy three hidden treasures and i got two of them uh let's see what that blue gun is and then we'll end the stream there that was tons of fun again this is shadow gun legends i think it is name of the game so uh, invite me to your guild if you want to play together. You gotta to play a little bit to unlock the guild, but you can do it pretty quick. Uh, okay, nice. Now, yeah. is it loaded? Can I move? Nothing's there. We go. Mission completed. Nice. Collect that gun. Collect that fame. And let's see how far we've progressed. We got a silver key. Claim that. And we got promoted. Nice. So I can show you the point system as well no longer a rookie nice okay there we go that's good stuff coming soon new area marshall marshall massages interesting all right let's get back out of here equip the newest stuff i bet that's the new gun let's go have a look interesting it did not equip the new gun new gun a rare auto rifle with a power of 55 and this got me equipped 55.8 interesting so 35 so it has a better attack but the rate of fire is less and um, the ammo is less I'm gonna actually equip that blue gun rather than the SMG um, and I gonna keep the sniper rifle on there for now how much power does it have 55 yeah that's tons 51 55 cool all right lots of stuff that we need to go and sell oh with this box we can use the key is that a gold key or a silver key it's a silver key so we can unlock this box as well let's see what we get digital camo nice okay oh here at the star, I'm going to use that. Uh, where is it? Select item that we want to put it on. I'm going to put it on my chest like Captain America. <laughs> oh, I've got two of them, so I can put another one on my pants. <laughs> there we go. Apply. Nice. I'm full of stars. So you get that stuff by watching ads in the game. Right, let's go see what's next oh the skill points okay so here's the next thing on the right hand side of my skill points the combat the survival the agility if I click on that requirements power 50 and right now my power is 49.8 so I cannot quite improve that but 
uh, I'm pretty sure combat level two will unlock some of these passive skills. So the question is, do I want um, ammo up, 5% ammo capacity and 3% accuracy? Do I want 10% reload speed, 2% movement? Or do I want faster auto heal activation and auto heal power and plus 3% health? Well, I like to survive, so I'm actually gonna, I think I might do the survival. There we go, fire, let's see. Yep, that unlocks. Interesting, only one unlocked. But you can click on it, and this is where you spend your uh, in-game currency that you earn in-game. And now I've got 3% more health. Um, once my power is 60, I can get 6% more. And that requires me to get to level three survival. Very interesting, and very nice system for um, how your combat points and powering up works. Triangles out on either side. These ones here are combination agility, level six and power 70. Whereas this one here is combat level six, power 70, and that one is survival level six. So there's an extra little things there that you can get. Uh, the, all the squarish ones are passive and all the um, triangle ones are active and you can have two active things. So I've got the turret and the grenade right now. I do not have the deflector skin. I did not feel like that was gonna be beneficial enough to me. The turret, it seems awesome. The grenade too, I like the, those. So that's the skills, that's the skill thing. What's this G? You can't win a war single-handedly. Okay, this is where you join a guild. So I'm gonna wait for someone to comment. First person to comment on a guild to join, I will join it and then I will promote it. Uh, and that will be the guild I'm in for a little while at least. I don't, not guaranteeing I'll stay, but I'll stay oh, for at least there, a little while. Uh, and if it's good, I'll stay. And if you play, I'll stay. So what we've we got here, Pedro, I don't wanna buy stuff from him. Missions, he's got a new mission, so let's accept. So many missions uh, to do. So many missions, got missions with everybody. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Missions, he's gonna give me more missions. Campaign, the she yell yield the shield. Pack your sunscreen, we're going to planet Ark to find the destiny, maybe get a little revenge. All right, so that's for a new planet. Uh, accept luck, that one, and the kill zone, accept that. So now, now we've Look finished sharp. the um, campaign on that first green planet. We're getting all the side Stay missions unlocked. So these guys have either finished missions or have missions. Nope, they've given me new missions. Side mission, let's accept yeah, that. Good for stuff, and, and while we're here, well, let's sell trade and sell some of the stuff in my inventory. Sell those pants, oh, sell those pants. Uh, yep, sell, okay, and we can uh, sell these colors as well, uh, which I feel like is, I, I may as well just sell them because, you know. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, the digital rare camo. Full paint job for your gear, single use only. I actually kind of like that one, I might keep that. I like the idea of using the one set for everything. Grab a gun, okay, and over here fun. with the guns, new mission here as well. Lots of missions to do. Nearly finished the weapons run of sell 25 weapons to her. In fact, we might do that right now. Sell, let's see how close we're gonna be. So that's uncommon machine gun. And that's the SMG that was, I think, my best one. I might keep that one. Let's sell that oh, shotgun. Nice oh, definitely going to sell this uncommon Don't one. Spend it all at once, and no. uh, this one here, we'll sell that as well. Looks to be in Hopefully that shape. completes um, the mission. Let's have a look. Okay, missions. 20. Oh, it's a countdown? I'm not sh I'm confused. Sell 25 weapons? I think it's a countdown. I've got 20 weapons more to sell on this particular mission. Uh, oh, wow. Or, I don't know. All right, that's the game. Tons of fun, really enjoying it. Amazing graphics, great controls. It just feels smooth. Uh, so I'm really happy with this. 
really happy with this. This is my first person shooter game for mobile now. Uh, it, uh, it smashes the battery a bit. Let's see, if I, can I see what the battery is? Down to 70%, I was on 95% before. So that took out about 25% of my battery in, call it 50 minutes. So, and I'm on the Samsung Note 9, which has extremely good battery performance. So you probably want to play this. Uh, if not plugged in, um, this is probably something to play in your battery or battery pack because you're going to get smashed if you play it for an hour. 25% plus of your battery. But with that, I'm going to play this more. Again, I hope to play this with you. If you want to invite me to join your guild or, or a guild or whatever, let me know. Um, and you can do teams as well. Uh, where's the teams? Uh, let's have a look. What's these buttons on the left? There we go. Friends. So you can request friends or add friends. There we go. And my nickname up the top left hand side there you can see is Sam the oil man. Just remember to add me in and then I will be your friend. Uh, let's see what this is here. Squad. So I'd be happy to play. Uh, you can have voice chat going, but I haven't figured out the best way to do voice chat and record good audio. Or actually, I could probably just record bad audio and have voice chat. We might see how that works another day. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if, if you join me, we can play and we can stream and have some great fun. Oh, here's this button. Here's where you talk to people. React. Lol. <laughs> Lol. Lol, lol, lol. And this last one, I don't know what that is, but it looks like video, so I might press that off stream in case it goes to an ad. I don't want to stream ads. Thanks for watching. This was Shadow Gun Legends. It's definitely got a bit of a, it's like a mobile version of Destiny, actually, so pretty happy with that. Look at all those tall buildings. It's like I'm in New York, which is where I was last weekend. See ya.